the first coffins of the 71 people found dead in a truck at the roadside yesterday. Maybe the only time they've been treated with dignity in weeks. 59 men, eight women and four children. Amongst the bodies, a Syrian identity document. We have confirmed that the insulating layer on the sides of the truck didn't allow any air to pass through. We can neither rule in or out whether they ensured that air came through the cooling system or the roof. I believe that most likely the people in this lorry suffocated. The truck passed no border controls when it entered Austria from Hungary because both countries are in the EU Schengen area. I think uh, the solution uh, uh, is not to make more uh, uh, more border checks. Uh, I think the best solution is to find legal ways to Europe. Because on the one side uh, you can protect the refugees, and on the other side uh, it's the best uh, 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 in the fight against uh, the criminals. This morning's scenes on the Libyan coast make that appear even less likely. Up to 200 people drowned from two boats trying to reach Italy. Death at sea, death in a refrigerated truck, coffins or body bags. It's primarily Eritreans and other Africans who set out from Libya, but Syrians were also amongst those rescued yesterday. We've been forced to take this route. It's called the route of death. We now call it the graveyard of the Mediterranean. Such images do little to prick the conscience of those who believe Europe can neither absorb migrants seeking a better life nor refugees fleeing conflict. But this morning, at Austria's overcrowded refugee camp at Treiskirchen, just south of Vienna, we found volunteers bringing aid. We want to do something. Mm -hmm. not, not only talking, not only listening, not only reading on Facebook and all that social media, doing, mm -hmm. helping. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we ask our friends if they have clothes, spare mm. clothes, because people are collecting things in their homes and actually here they could need it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The building, once the Imperial Artillery Cadet School, was converted in 1956 to house Hungarians fleeing the Soviets. Now it's sheltering people fleeing through, not from, Hungary. Since Amnesty criticized the conditions in which the nearly 5,000 refugees live, individual Austrians have started to help. People here are very, very, very good. Uh, they respect uh, a Syria mm -hmm. yeah, and they uh, give us uh, many help for, from clothes and uh, anywhere, any, anything we want. That's great. Yeah. So what is your dream? What are you hoping to do? Dream? I hope uh, to study here because I am in Syria. I was studying um, mechanical engineering. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, branch uh, power engineering mm -hmm. yeah. and I hope to complete uh, my uh, university here. Across Europe, not least here in Austria, politicians fear anti-immigrant pressure groups, hence the tough anti-foreigner talk. But there are other voices, other views.